As you leave Tabitha's office, you take a moment to get your bearings, only to be interrupted by a sudden movement out of the corner of your eye. Who's that? A girl carrying a bundle of snack pops through the hole in the fence disappears over the crest of a hill. Wait a minute! She, she looks like a teen. She and has, has a, a braid braided hair. And glasses. <gasps> it's a nerd! <laughs> Hey, uh, I think I just saw Rosalina. Wait, really? What is she doing here? Clearly she's <laughs> doing a delinquency. She'll probably be fine, because there'll be kids, am I right? I'm going after her, we should call Oscar. What should we do? Um... Hmm, I'm going after her. All right. I'm going after her. <laughs> Good idea. We'll try and catch up with you. Oh boy. You rush over the hill and get your bearings, the sounds of active mining fading to the distance. Rosalina is nowhere to be found, but dusty footprints point towards a nearby mine. She didn't. I guess the old Maxwell place doesn't cut it as a secret hangout spot these days. But the Shaw Mine? I mean, the Shaw Mine? <laughs> Wrong emphasis. <laughs> that place was shut down like a hundred years ago. Wait a this second. The, yeah, this is the one where the collapse happened. No, the, the thing in the top left corner. <laughs> oh. Who was that? Uh, looks like a little ditchling friend. Does that mean something bad's about to happen? <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh oh. After a collapse that killed over a hundred people. And here I thought Stella was gonna be the one. Wait. Okay, yeah. I thought I stole your line, but then I was like, wait. <laughs> but then she's talking about herself. <laughs> um, here I thought Stella was going to be the one to drag me into an abandoned coal mine. Have teens always been like this? I feel like I really missed out on my risk-taking years. I guess we should go after her, right? Maybe we should just wait outside. I don't know about the first one because it's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Have teens always been like this? I feel like I really missed out on my risk-taking years. I never did anything like this. <laughs> yeah, I would never. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I poked my head in there a few times. <laughs> well, let's get in there before someone gets hurt. Whoa, you sure you want to tag along, Nix? Daisy and I can handle this on our own. Yeah, I'm sure. As much as I hate confined spaces, I'm not about to let Rosalina get hurt in there. Even if it means I have to go underground. I mean, you could stay up and call Oscar. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Her little eyes looking back like, mm -hmm. like oh. <laughs> there I go, into the darkness. Has just that one right now. Ugh. <laughs> Stella and Kanika disappear into the mines. Before you follow, you briefly wonder if you should let Tabitha know about this. Call her, or just follow Kanika and Stella to the mine. Hmm. It's true we didn't tell Oscar. She's in the middle of a meeting! Hmm. I'll call her. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get yelled at. Pull out <laughs> your phone and dial your cousin. What is it? You know I'm in a meeting. I sure do. <laughs> a kid just stuck, snuck into the Shaw Mine or hang up on her. <laughs> kid just snuck into the Shaw Mine. You should probably close that up better. <laughs> I 
figured you should know. What? Are you serious? Why do things keep happening to me? <laughs> oh no. Ugh, whatever. I'll head over there as soon as I can. Just stay where you are and wait for me, alright? God, I don't even know why I'm trying to reason with you. It's not <laughs> like you'll listen. See, I called you as a courtesy, but I'm not gonna wait around for you. Or, oh, I will happily wait. I do not want to go in there. No need to get snarky. I'll wait. Lie. No need to get snarky. I'll wait. <laughs> I called you as a courtesy. Wow, Sorry. we suddenly got brave and... Well, my two <laughs> friends already went in there. Snarky. <laughs> called you as a courtesy, but I'm not going to wait around for you. That got an achievement. <laughs> oh, it did? You're welcome. Yeah, it, showed, it showed the entrance of the mine from the inside with Tabitha, like, having her arms up. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I swear to God. I'm sorry, but my mind's made up. You hang up the call. I can't let Gretchen go in there. <laughs> She's already in there. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say alone, but there's two other people. Yeah. <laughs> and also Rosalina and oh, probably yeah. her friends. <laughs> you take a deep breath and follow your new friends into the mine. Cute little puppy dog. <laughs> the inside of the mine is warmer than you expect. Than you'd expected. The, thick, the air is thick and wet. The ceiling hangs much lower than you are tall, forcing you and your companions to hunch over. Your legs bent in a painful squat as you navigate the maze of corridors. Doesn't seem like a, it was built tall enough for the miners. Well, it might have been built for the children. Oh no, you're right. <laughs> Hey, you made it. I told you she would. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick call and give Tabitha the 411 or lie. I just needed a sec or remain silent. I'll tell them I told Tabitha. <laughs> I don't know. It just looked like Stella is just like, oh, staring off like she's <laughs> flashback. Like, I sense Tabitha. <laughs> on her way. Oh no. We need to move fast. <laughs> Just wanted to make a quick call and give Tabitha the 411. Are you kidding me? I forgot I was going to <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't know how long it's going to take for this to get through to you, Daisy, but that woman is not to be trusted. Well, what matters is that the gang's all here. We'll find Rosalina in no time. I didn't want to go into the mine without telling someone on the outside. Yeah. Regardless of who it was, the deeper you progress into the mine, the heavier the air becomes. Coal dust hangs in the thick clouds around you, even though the place was abandoned over a century ago. Well, that's just more dust to kick up when teens walk through. <laughs> Jesus, it's cramped down here. Anyone else's chest feel tight? I certainly can't say I'm one for dark and stuffy places. This seems much more suited for a cat, if I do say so myself. Yeah, abandoned mines are always way more claustrophobic than people expect them to be. And this one's real bad. You know, because of the child miners. Or should I say, the minor miners? Mm -hmm. Kanika visibly shudders. That actually is when you said, well, it was not for the children, and then I actually <laughs> did have a child that ran up uh -huh. my arms. <laughs> I was like, oh. But, um. Okay, I'm not superstitious, but if there's one way to make sure you get haunted, it's cracking jokes about dead child laborers while walking on their graves. What can I say? I do my best to tempt the spirits wherever I go. I can't believe you'd come down here on purpose. Yeah, it was part of my ghost hunting phase. 
Jesus, Stella, the things you do for your viewers. Did you find anything? I wish. If any place in Scarlet Hollow was actually haunted, it'd be this mine, hands down. But all I got was dust in my lungs and a couple false alarms. Stella pauses and as sound rushes overhead. Oh my god, what was that? Little oh Noah, nervous burp. All right, on cue. <laughs> fear, more fear. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's been steadily escalating with each fear burp. Um, the mine's gonna collapse and we're all going to die here, aren't we? Stella sighs longingly. That's just how wind sounds down here. You sound so disappointed. It just brings back memories of my last foray into these depths. Every time I thought I'd finally found a spooky ghost, there wound up being a very unghostly explanation. Boo! Like Get it! Local <laughs> wildlife for instance. Aww. Aww. Like a little Those teeth. little teeths. <laughs> <laughs> we both went to the teeth. So cute. The little feet. Oh, I love bats. They're so cute. <laughs> Stella turns her flashlight up towards the alcove overhead. Oh, don't wake them up. Ah. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm walking here. <laughs> yeah, we were sleeping here. Shut that light off, you nosy bastards. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I am so sorry for my companions. Stella means well, I assure you. <laughs> Those guys got me real good last time I was here alone. I'm sure you're quite worried about me after my behavior last night, Daisy, but let that interaction be assurance that my temper is most wholly under control. I wouldn't Good. dare venture away from the safety of my Stella's arms in a horrible place like this. Good. Thank you, Gretchen. <laughs> um, oh my god, there are bats down here? I'm gonna get rabies, aren't I? I'm gonna get rabies and die in a mine collapse. <laughs> you holding up okay, Nix? Yeah, sorry, I'm just a little on edge. Kanika stopped mid sentence by a thunderous knock echoing from deeper in the mine. Okay, what was that? That was death. Of that, I'm certain. No! That was. I have no idea what that was. Did that sound like knocking to you guys? What was the term Tommy knocker? Yeah, there that's, it is. That's gotta be a Tommy knocker, right? The mind's collapsing, isn't it? You should hurry and find Rosalita. Y'all are being babies. These are totally just normal cave sounds, as if we weren't aren't a total coward ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say nothing. <laughs> we should hurry and find Rosalina. Yeah, agreed. The sooner we get out of this dust trap, the better. Gosh, I wonder if those sounds are Tommy knockers. Okay, no, Tommy knockers are not real. They're not allowed to be real. Are you trying to give me a panic attack? <laughs> I'd love to spend some extra time poking around here. Around down here. Maybe it's got something to do with the mystery. Ooh. The three of you are interrupted by a second, much less distant sound of a can being popped open. Okay, now that wasn't Tommy Knockers. It came from this way. Follow me. Follow Stella. <laughs> That's our only option. <laughs> you and Kanika follow Stella further into the mine. Teen party! <laughs> hey, it's Miles. He is a teen. Yeah! <laughs> you breathe a sigh of relief as the tight passageway gives way to a small cavern. A group of teens turns and stares at you with annoyance. Yeah, is I'm that a weed hat? <laughs> 
you could do Rosalina's lines. Okay. That would be helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna take another sip before the scene continues. Oh, me too, actually. I'm almost out of water. It's probably only one or two more sips left. Oh no. What the hell of all of- well, I can't even read. What the hell are all of you doing in here? Oh, that's why I couldn't read, it's because I added words. Oh well. <laughs> What the hell are you doing in here? You creeps! Are you stalking us? Yeah, creeps. I just said that, Alexis. If I wanted an echo, I'd yell into the Grand Canyon. If I wanted an echo, I'd yell into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> what are you, five? What are you guys even doing down here? This is the most miserable place I've been in my entire life. Uh, we're here to make sure you don't hurt yourself. Your dad's looking for you, Rosalina. Chill out, Kaneko. They're just teens. Let them have their fun. Or remain silent. We're absolutely not gonna call out Rosalina in front of the other teens. <laughs> um, what are you guys even doing down here? This is the most miserable place I've been in my entire life. Uh, this place isn't miserable. It's cool and rad. Who the hell are you, exactly? That's Daisy, Tappy's cousin! Oh no, don't call her out like that in front of the other teens! <laughs> Rosalina, your dad's worried sick about you. And if you ask me, he was right to worry. Why the hell would you think hanging out in an old mine would be a good idea? Is some Maxwell place not dangerous enough? Uh, because no one usually comes here, duh. Everyone knows we hang out at the Maxwell place now, so we had to find a new hideout. Which you instantly found, so I guess we have to find an even more secluded place where we can just be ourselves. I can't believe your dad sent people to follow you, Rosalina. That's messed up. I think that qualifies as harassment. You're right, Becca. It is messed up. I don't think... I don't need him telling me where I can be. I'm a rebellious teen. <laughs> you could think you could at least check in so he knows you're not dead. He loves you and worries about you. He's really not asking for much. Honestly, he's not. <laughs> yeah. Don't you kids have school tomorrow anyways? It's fall break, everyone fall says. Fall <laughs> break? What's a fall break? Oh. And we're not kids. Yeah, we're teens. <laughs> well, you still like a bunch of kids to me. Did you guys seriously sneak into an abandoned coal mine to drink canned margaritas? <laughs> Rosalina's Ugh, face. <laughs> we're barely drinking. It's not a big deal. Rosalina, you're 13. And I know the rest of you aren't much older. Young pups these days, absolutely no respect for their elders. Whoa, y'all are way rowdier than I ever was at your age. How did you even get a hold of that much booze? Teens <laughs> avoid eye contact. Miles tries to melt into the cavern wall. It all makes <laughs> sense now. Oh no, I know this isn't you, Miles. It had better not be you. Yeah, whatever, it's me. What are you even doing here? Becca's right, sounds to me like you're stalking and harassing and all that. You're supposed to be minding the store. It's not like anyone even comes in on Tuesdays, and Mom's there, so it's fine. <laughs> His expressions are all so good. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, ah, <laughs> Eyes dart uncomfortably around the cavern as Kanika tears into her brother. It's not fine. It's extremely not fine. It is, in fact, incredibly irresponsible. Why do I always have to be the responsible one? Do you know what I would give to be as carefree as you? I left school so you could have a chance to live your life. This is what you're doing with it? 
What would Dad think if he could see this? Stealing booze from the family store to dig around in an abandoned mine? Dad's dead, Kanika. But if you were here, he'd be disappointed you wound up being such a bossy jerk. Nothing ever happens in this town. Who cares if we have canned margaritas somewhere so nobody's supposed to bother us? Miles, don't try to twist this around on your sisters. I'd love to help you all sort this out, but can we maybe do it not in an abandoned coal mine? <laughs> can you at least do your underage drinking somewhere a little safer? We should just let the though. kids have their fun. If these kids want to make bad decisions, that's on them. <laughs> not at this <laughs> level. If this is what y'all do for fun around here, maybe the ditchlings were kind of inevitable. <laughs> Remain silent. Hmm. <laughs> Tough decisions. like I don't have a strong pull to any specific response I don't think mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go with the ditchling ones just so I can tell everyone about the monster <laughs> if this is what y'all do for fun around here maybe the ditchlings are kind of inevitable who's y'all I'm not having any fun I'm having the opposite of fun Oh my god, stop talking about us like we aren't here. I said y'all. Yeah, we can hear you. Alexis, don't butt in. I'm trying to make a point. My dad is a foreman at the continuous mining facility, and he says the only reason they stopped using this tunnel is because there wasn't enough coal left. I thought your dad was the charge hand. Was a charge hand. No, Alexis, he got promoted last month, and he says this place is totally safe and we can hang out here anytime we want. Oh, surprise. Correction, your father was a foreman at the continuous mining facility. We'll see if he has a, even has a job tomorrow morning. Uh-oh. What? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, Tabby. <laughs> Kanika sighs. Probably for the best that she's here. Do none of you... Do none of you understand what a boarded up mine entrance is supposed to mean? It means it's closed, condemned, not fit for human use. Oh man, I went through so much of this episode being, I'm not a narc, and then I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. But also... Oh, come on. <laughs> this place is way sturdy. Check it out. No. <laughs> the teen with the beanie jumps up and slaps his strat on the ceiling. Oh, was that the knocking we heard earlier? Oh my god, Zane, cut it out. You're embarrassing us. I'm sorry for Zane's behavior. I don't think he realizes how extremely 8th grade it is to jump up and hit things. Uh, no offense, Rosalina. None taken. The other 8th graders are totally immature. Not like you, Rosalina. You're chill and smart, too. Enough! The damage is already done. Now leave! I'm tired of people in this town dragging my cousin headlong into danger. <laughs> I can't believe you actually agree with Tabitha about- I actually agree with Tabitha about anything. This is the worst place I've ever been in my entire life. That's what I said. And I would like <laughs> to see the sun again before I die. Aw, oh, come on, you guys. Maybe it's not a big deal. We used to do dangerous stuff all the time, and I still do dangerous stuff now. You just said you never did anything like this as a kid. 
Except for I mean, a little bit sometimes. I don't, <laughs> I don't like this particular situation, what with the whole ditchling thing, but outside of that, who are we to tell them where they can hang out? I don't know who you think you are in this situation, Stella, but I own this mine. It is entirely within my rights to tell them to leave. Much like it is entirely within my rights to tell you to leave. Was your lifetime banned from my mind's not clear a clear enough message for you? Hell yeah, Tabitha. Tear that sad 20-something to shreds. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, I'm defending you, and I'm not sad. Where'd you get that idea? My Stella can't possibly be sad with me around. How absolutely rude. These pups need to learn some manners. Mm. Uh, running a clickbaity YouTube channel where you run around the woods chasing nothing is extremely sad. No, child bully. So she said. So what? Give it a few years and you'll be sad too. The passage of time is inescapable. Oof. <laughs> Look, we just wanted to give Rosalina a good time. Her home life sucks right now. Yeah, tell me about where you have to sleep, Rosalina. We've been living in the library for the past couple weeks. That says we can't stay at our house. They've got a hot plate and a couple cots in one of the back rooms. It's actually a pretty sick setup. No, it isn't, Zane. Rosalina deserves better. Oh no, this is about your house being haunted, isn't it? Or keep it to yourself. This is about your house being haunted, isn't it? We're throwing everything in the <laughs> open here. Oh no, this is about your house being haunted, isn't it? No. I forgot which character that was. So I was like, mm. no. What the fresh hell is this? Oh my god, did my dad tell you that? No, your cat told us that. Yeah, I was like, no, I, one of the animals, I <laughs> yeah. don't remember which Why? one. Why? Uh, yes, actually, Pixel told me. <laughs> Just leave it at that. I'm gonna say Pixel. I've never lied about it. <laughs> actually, Pixel told me. My cat? Hmm. It's a long story. I don't care about your home life. If you're gonna do your underage drinking, go do it in the woods. Just get off my property. Tabitha! Look, Rosalina, I'm sure Oscar has a good reason for all that. He's a good guy and he cares about you. He thinks our house is haunted. Oh no, not this again. And I should care because... Because it's such a bullshit excuse. I bet he couldn't afford it anymore and is lying you to save face. What a coward. Becca, I don't think you can, like, say that about other people's families. Isn't that, like, bullying or something? All she's been doing is bullying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up, Zane. Oscar actually invited us to check it out when we saw him early today. It could make for a fun, non-abandoned coal mine related activity. Just throwing that out there. There's no ghost, Stella. It would be cool if there was, but Becca's right. I just wish he could be more honest with me and tell me what's really going on. It's like he doesn't think I can handle it. Like I'm still a little kid. There's nothing wrong with being a kid. Ugh, you're all children, and none of you realize how good you have it. Back in the day, each and every one of you would be pulling 12-hour shifts in this exact mine. If it weren't for child labor laws, the five of you might have some actual character. Exactly. Rosalina's not mature. She still sleeps with stuffed animals. That doesn't mean she's not mature. I still have a bork shop, you know. I rest my case. Excuse you, looks at my Wait. stuffed animals. <laughs> I know, <laughs> all my stuffed animals. Wait, what did you say about child labor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Oscar is doing this to protect you. You're right, Oscar should treat you more like an adult. How do you know there isn't a ghost? Or at this rate, I'd be surprised if your house wasn't haunted or remained silent. I'll be like, how do you know there isn't a ghost? Because I'm sure she's heard protecting stuff before. <laughs> 
I know I should say that, but... Ugh, why are all the adults in this town such weirdos? You're there is a no weirdo. ghost. There are no such things as ghosts. Oscar is just lying. I never saw any ghosts. And I was there way more than he was. Yo, what if we break in and ghost bust the place anyways, just to be sure? Oh my god, Zane, you can't ghost bust if there is no ghost. Also, Rosalina lives there. She can't break into her own house. There's no ghost that you know of. I bet we could figure out how to bust it if it's actually real, and if it isn't real, well, problem solved. You know, Rosalina, you could always stay over at my house until Stella goes bust your place. We have a finished basement with a pullout couch. Why are we talking about this like it's a thing? It's not a thing. There is no ghost. I don't care, and I can't believe I've wasted this much time trying to argue with children. I'm washing my hands of this and calling the cops. Feel free to leave before they show up. Hear that, Miles? We're leaving. I suggest the rest of you kids leave this empty mine before something- before someone gets black lung or get crushed by rocks or meets one of the many terrible fates people tend to meet in abandoned mines. Like this one! <laughs> Kanika is interrupted by a pair of thunderous knocks. So it wasn't the beanie kid. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't me, I swear. Then what was it? Come on, Stella. Didn't you have a whole list of perfectly natural exclamations for scary mind noises? It's Tommy Knockers, for sure. I know this isn't why we came down here, but we gotta check it out. Stella. Stella. <laughs> I know, I know, but weird stuff's been happening around here for the past few days. What if this is our chance to get an actual solid lead? The stakes couldn't be higher. Do you have no sense of self-preservation? Like yesterday. I want you out of here, Stella. Aw, come on, Tabby. You can come along, too. If you guys are going after something spooky, count me in. <laughs> are you kidding me? Tagging along with some olds to get jump scared by shadows and freak each other out? No thanks. No need to opt out of something that isn't happening. Nobody is going deeper into the mine. Nobody is staying in the mine. You're all leaving. Oh my god, the teens were right. I did get jump scared. Please listen to Tabitha before my heart gives out. <laughs> Poor Kanika. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun, Neeks. It will not. Kenai, you hear something over the sound of Stella pleading with Kanika and Tabitha. Something like shuffling of feet on stone and a whispering of mischievous teens. Oh, where'd they go? You turn to see Becca and Alexis gone. Rosalina anxiously hovering in front of a small tunnel in the cavern wall. She freezes as you notice her. Stop arguing, you knuckleheads. The teens are slipping away. Rosalina, what are you doing? Don't go in that hole. Or wink at her and gesture towards the Why? tunnel. Why? <laughs> Say nothing. Rosalina, what are you doing? <laughs> don't know. What am I doing? Wait, what? Rosalina, don't go in there. Becca and Alexis, stop trying to get us all killed. This is, sorry guys, I'm gonna hang back. <laughs> Little teen uh, I face. Knew you, I knew you weren't cool enough to hang out with us, Rosalina. Come on, Alexis, we'll have more fun without her. Oh, alright. Are you kidding me? Rosalina, what were you thinking? What were they thinking? I don't know. I'm so sorry. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> yes. Oopsie. Unbelievable. Wow, Ganika, maybe if you weren't still scared of the dark or whatever, you would have noticed them sneak off. 
I noticed them sneak off and like, I've been zoning out the whole time we've been here. Ugh, they must have squeezed through the child's, that child-sized tunnel. Yeah. Dang, I've always wondered where that goes. I'm, I've never been able to get these hips through there. It's probably for the best, dear. Mm -hmm. Stella, stop sneaking to my minds. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I am literally begging you. If only all the tunnels down here were wide enough for adults, we could already be done with this little mess, but no, there just have to be remnants from a bygone era. Uh, didn't you just talk about how child labor was the good old days a minute ago? I was trying to get you to leave my mind. Becca shouts from the other end of the tunnel. We are not about to let you come in here and ruin our good time. This mine is safe. I've been here a million times. Yeah, if Becca says we're safe, then we're totally safe. Stop treating us like kids. Also, sorry, Rosalina. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I just- whatever, come on Alexis, I know a cool spot this way. Okay, I think I know where that tunnel rejoins the rest of the mines. I'll go look for them, and I want each and every one of you to take note of that fa of the fact that I'm doing that. If those idiots get themselves lost and die, I am not letting their families sue me into the ground. Are, are those really your priorities right now? Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? I want the rest of you out of my mind. Except for you, Daisy. I'm not letting you out <laughs> of my sight. Yeah, sure. I could never fit in that tunnel anyways. They have crossed a barrier that I cannot, so my time is up here. My time here is up. But only because Stella promised me a ghost hunt tomorrow. Whatever. I still have my daily- I've still have to do my dailies anyways, and the service down here sucks. What about you, girl? Are, are you sure you don't want me to come along? Maybe I could help you get Becca and Alexis to leave. Don't make me ask you twice. They'll be fine, Rosalina. I think your dad would kill me if I let you stay down here any longer. Okay. Can I at least wait outside? I think we all want you to go outside. <laughs> yeah, we can wait outside together. <laughs> Don't Puppy dog eyes. eyes. <laughs> no, you are not about to weasel your way into this, Stella. <laughs> Aw, come on, Tabby. I've been down here a ton. I can totally help out. Tabitha sighs. Ugh, there's no getting rid of you, is there? Fine, I won't waste my time arguing. Wink. What's the point of going after them? They don't want to listen to us. Or we could just all leave and say, do I have to come with you? Stella, don't push Tabitha's boundaries like that. Tabitha, don't push Stella away like that. She hasn't done anything to deserve it. I wasn't around Although, long enough to know that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting in the middle of this. All right, let's do this. Remain silent. <laughs> oh, what was at the top? What's the point of going after mm. them? Then no, just scroll because I don't <laughs> remember. I'll say, Stella, don't push Tabitha's boundaries. Stella, don't push Tabitha's boundaries like that. I don't need you to fight my battles for me, Daisy. It's fine. Stella can tag along. Alright, let's do this! <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> sure. Let's not linger any longer than we have to, shall we? Want me to take Gretchen with me? I don't know if it'll be easier to cover. M I don't know if it'll be easier to cover more ground without her. 
Excuse me, I have a formidable and self-sufficient monster hunting companion. <laughs> yeah, that's probably for the best. I don't want a repeat of last night, and who knows if we'll have to do any climbing. Oh, <laughs> poopy booty. <laughs> you can see the toe beans from behind the text box. Yes. <laughs> Touch the I'll toe beans. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Hopefully soon. For sure. We won't be long. Cool. Can't wait to bust some ghosts tomorrow. Tell Alexis I'm sorry. Kanika, Miles, Zane, and Rosalina head towards the entrance of the mines and Gretchen, leaving you, Tabitha, and Stella <laughs> to find the remaining teens. Well, I guess because Kanika's carrying Gretchen, so it's not like she's heading towards the entrance Fine. of the mines. <laughs> I'll accept. <laughs> Alright, no dawdling. We should be able to catch up with them if we go this way. You and Stella exchange a glance as Tabitha ventures forward. Venture deeper into the mine. As the three of you move deeper into the mine, you hear echoes of conversation bounce across the walls. And we'll use the stairs! She keeps jumping <laughs> off the bed instead of using the little doggy stairs. I guess I need to move it. Becca, why are we doing this again? I thought you thought Tabitha was, like, really cool. Hmm? Why are you trying to get her all mad? Uh, we're doing this because Tabitha is really cool. She doesn't let anyone boss her around, so we can't just let her boss us around. <laughs> Aw, you hear that, Tabby? Someone thinks you're cool. I can't believe she used to hang out with a nobody like Stella. Aww. Hey. Uh, I don't know. I think Stella's kind of cool. I like that River Runner video. Oh, come on, she doesn't even have a sponsor. What kind of a YouTuber doesn't have a sponsor? I mean, not yet, but I'm in talks with Meat Rice TM. <laughs> and I make plenty from ads and donations. Explore, how does it feel to have a teen girl think you're cool, Tabitha? Say, dang, Stella, Meat Rice TM? That's a big deal. <laughs> oh man, I wish they were gossiping about me. I'm just glad they're not gossiping about me. Press on. This makes me think about, like, whenever I see interviewers from gosh who was it there was like some youtuber who is a parent and then their kid is a big fan of this other youtuber and they keep comparing the parent to the yeah. other one it's like oh man this is actually <laughs> something that kids have grown up with from the beginning nowadays yeah. um How does it feel to have a teen girl think you're cool, Tabitha? <laughs> hmm. I feel nothing about it. The opinions of children don't interest me. I don't know, you kinda hesitated there. You're reading into things that aren't there, Stella. Just because your livelihood revolves around what people think of you doesn't mean that I care what people think of me. Congratulations on your sponsor, though. No. Oh. <laughs> Dang, Stella, meat rice, that's a big deal. <laughs> They're like on every big podcast. Thank you, thank you. It feels like a really big step for the channel. I just wish Becca hadn't said all those things she said tonight. She's just mean. It had nothing to do with you. Yeah, I don't like her. For a public figure, I'm surprised you don't have thicker skin. Remain silent. <laughs> Uh, she's just mean. <laughs> she's just mean. It had nothing to do with you. You've seen how she's treated everyone tonight, except Tabitha. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm surprised you don't have thicker skin about this, Stella. I can't even count the number of times you've rolled over my protestations in the past two days. Well, I know you don't mean it. Agree hmm. to disagree. I'm just glad they're not gossiping about me. Because everybody <laughs> else in town does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I know they're just teens, but some of that stuff stung. Uh-oh. Another knock, closer, interrupts your thoughts, followed by another, followed by another. Is it just me, or is that knocking coming from the same direction as those kids? Of course it is. <laughs> it's not just you. I really don't like that knocking. Calm down, Alexis. It's just mind sounds. Did, did you see that? N no, it was just a shadow. There's no reason to get freaked out. Becca, I swear, I saw something. Shut up! There's nothing down here. Stop trying to scare me. Mm. Are we sure that tunnel they went through is going to meet back up with us? What did they see? What if they're the ones doing the knocking? What if this is all just a terrible prank? It's like Tommy knockers, or those poor kids. I knew coming down here was a bad idea. I can't believe they're making us do this. They'd better get grounded when this <laughs> is all said and done. So we're getting closer. Let's keep moving or just keep going. Oh, uh, what was that top again? Uh. Hmm. Uh, are we? Yeah, the first one. Are we sure that this tunnel is okay. gonna meet back up with ours? Yes, I'm familiar with all the old maps of this place. There should be a central chamber not too far from here where everything joins back up. Oh. oh, somehow I double clicked again. And I... <laughs> that... That's okay. <laughs> That's it. I don't know what the controls would be to go backwards if it adds them or not. But I don't think so. <laughs> um, what if they're the ones doing the knocking? What if this is all just a terrible prank and it's we at scalable victims? It it ties in with us being a coward. <laughs> yeah. No way. You heard how loud that is. There's no way they're doing it. It's Tommy Knockers. I'm sure of it. It's not Tommy Knockers. That being said, it's also definitely not a prank. It's probably just rocks falling somewhere deeper in the mine, which is also bad for obvious reasons. Hmm. What was the one with the hope they get grounded? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they're making us do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. They better get grounded when this is all said and done. As much as I appreciate the sentiment, I hope you're wrong. If they get grounded, it means that people found out about this. I hate dealing with parents. Look at the bright side, Daisy. If they didn't come down here, we'd have missed out on a golden opportunity to get spooked. I didn't <laughs> want to get spooked. How about the glare okay at with missing that opportunity. Mm-hmm. We're getting closer. Let's keep moving. As you progress deeper into the mine, the knocking grows more frequent. It's still distant, but it's much louder than before. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> the tunnel ends abruptly in front of you. A century-old ladder is the only way forward. And it has no bottom and it just keeps going down and down. You have to yeah. drop off the ladder. Yeah. Hint, hint, Magnus Archives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, the fall won't kill you. But it'll still hurt. <laughs> In the darkness beyond, you can, hear, you can still hear the sound of the youths. Their panicked arguing echoing down the pitch black corridors. Becca, we need to leave. This isn't fun anymore. This is plenty fun. I bet you're only saying that because you want to hang out with that dorky crush of yours. She's just an 8th grader. Becca, this isn't about Rosalina. I know you could hear that knocking. And here we are. The tunnel they crawled through passes through the chamber below. And it sounds like they're still down there. I've never been this far in. Congratulations, Stella. You got what you wanted. Tabitha walks up to the ladder and disappears over its edge. She didn't climb down it or anything. She just <laughs> vanished. 
All right, let's do this. Stella hoists herself over the edge and begins to climb down. See what I mean? She climbed, but Tabitha <laughs> didn't. Followed him down into the pit. You walk to the ladder and climb down. Ooh. Hey, kids. Oh, great. The adults are here. Thanks, Alexis. Real nice. Keen eye. Becca, is needed to feel like you're better than other people so important that it's worth being buried alive over? Keen eye, do you have an actual death wish? Because I can see this place is starting to collapse. Becca, what are you doing? Or Alexis, you're so much braver than you think you are. You don't need to let Becca kick you around. That's... Go with that top one. <laughs> Becca is needing to feel like you're better than other people. So important that you think it's worth being buried alive over. What? What are you talking about? Give me a break. The whole time we've been down here, you've been nothing but tear down every single person around you. The only people who do that are people who are afraid of themselves. <gasps> Leave. Now. I... whatever. Ugh, this isn't fun anymore. Fine, we'll leave. Th thanks, Daisy. Whoa, good job. As Becca and Alexis move towards the ladder, the black chamber before you draws your focus. I don't like it. <laughs> the voices around you. Those of the teens and your companions sound odd, distant. Stop zooming in! <laughs> There's something in the darkness before you that's much louder, though you don't hear it. But you can feel it in your chest, like a deep growl of a predator. No thank you! You find yourself stepping towards the black chamber before you, compelled by some unnatural force. No! <laughs> no thank you! Hey, are you alright, Daisy? What do you think you're doing? Get away from there! Please take me away! Your cousin dives towards you, but not before the light from your phone illuminates Oh, it something. went on its own. <laughs> it's fine. Oh! There's the miners. Oh, there's the wood. Oh, it broke! Oh, they're getting crushed! Oh, they're dead! Whoa, Daisy. what are those shapes? Daisy, are you alright? Oh, thank god, you're alive. It looked like you had a seizure or something, and then you and Tabby just conked out. Well, Tabby too. I'm fine. Ugh. You can barely open your eyes. You're not fine. Neither of you move a muscle. I don't want you straining yourselves while you're still recovering from whatever that was. I'm getting the kids out of here, and then I'm gonna get you both some help. I'll be back soon, I promise. Don't die on me, alright? Oh no, you can see the tears in her eyes. <laughs> you fade out of, fade back out of consciousness as your companion clambers out of the pit, intent on your rescue. Oh, it's the same shapes as earlier. Yeah, they look kind of like headlamps. You're right. But the miners would be wearing. You rise up on your elbows, head still swimming from the visions. Your surroundings coming back into focus. Your head throbs as the knocking continues, now magnitudes more intense than ever. Keen eye! Can't help but notice that the timber stress <laughs> you, wait, around you trembling as if they were being struck by invisible blows with each knock. The raw that stand between you and the many tons of rock over your head, and they suddenly seem terribly fragile. God, that knocking is not helping my headache. What the hell just happened? Am I the only one who saw ghosts just now? I mean, maybe they were ghosts. That knocking's getting closer. At least the kids are safe. I had some sort of vision. Did you see it too? I remember you diving towards me. Did you know something might happen? We should get out of here. 
We should wait for Stella. Or remain silent. Hmm. Uh, did you see the vision too? Had some sort of vision. Did you see it too? There's gotta be fumes or something down here. It's an old mine. These places are death traps. We probably just hallucinated. You did see it. <laughs> are you literally gaslighting me? How can you be sure or let it go? How can you be sure? Look, this kind of thing happens in mines sometimes, especially when there's bad ventilation. Stop being weird. We're leaving. The entire cavern shakes with the sound of rockfall. I don't know what the hell's up with this knocking, but that is the sound of a mine collapse. Quick, up that ladder. Climb, Climb like, like hell! hell. <laughs> This way, come on. Your cousin moves with the kind of swiftness you'd expect from someone who's spent her entire life working around coal mines. Follow her. You push your body to move as quickly as it can, though you're slowed down by the cramped corridors and winding passageways of the mine. Then comes the sound of splintering wood. You pick up the pace. The entrance is so close. Push through. And there it is. Freedom. Just in time. You and Tabitha managed to squeeze through the entrance just as the walls of the mine came crushing down. Oh my god, we got achievement! Pro babysitter! Whoa. Because that whole scenario could go very differently. I've never seen this scenario before. <laughs> you're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you're okay. Thank god. Although it does make me a little sad that you just missed out on some choices that I would have been interested in seeing what mm. you would do. <laughs> Is it gonna be like somebody getting left in the mine? Uh, Maybe. <laughs> oh boy. Is that one one that's prevented by Kenai? I wonder. But stopping yeah. Rosalina from going in. Yeah. Hmm. Or I guess like if you do an object that. Yeah stops her from going. Hmm. And everyone's accounted for. That was a surprisingly close call. We could have all died in there. What did you weirdos do? Everything was fine until you adults showed up. Becca, shut up. What did you just say to me? I said you should shut up. I'm sick of your two-faced bullshit. They didn't always get us killed down there. You did. And now you're trying to pass it off on whoever else you can. It's just the cherry on top of this whole shit show of, of a friendship. I'm really not in a good headspace for this conversation. I could have died in there. Why are you doing this to me? No, enough. No playing the victim this time. Being friends with Rosalina has made me realize how horrible you are to me. Friends aren't supposed to be mean to each other. Friends shouldn't be scared of each other. I never wanted to go into that stupid mine. It was your idea, and we could have died. If these grown-ups hadn't shown up, we could have been buried alive in that stupid little tunnel drinking stupid strawberry margaritas in a can. Screw all of you. Should we go after her? No, let her have her little tantrum. Did that feel good, Alexis? Finally telling her off? Yeah, I guess. Uh, she's gonna be so mad at me. She probably won't talk to me for a week. Maybe a month. Maybe the rest of my life. 
It's okay, Alexis. We don't need her. What do we do now? Um, now I drive the two of you home. I've already texted your parents and I'm sure they're worried sick about you. Rosalina and Alexis dust duck off to the side. Wait, to the side as an exhausted Tabitha approaches your group. I'm gonna get my car and then we're going home. Tabby. Tabitha leaves towards the act of mine without another word, and you're afforded a quiet moment to catch up with Stella and Kanika. We sure dodged a ball tonight, didn't we? I can't believe you left me down there, ditch loops. Your vision, the entities in the mine, what happens now or remains silent? The entities in the mine. Uh, I saw something down there, like the shadows of dead miners. I'm pretty sure Tabitha and I saw some ghosts down there. Did you not see them? Everything that happened down there was centered around that main chamber where I saw that carving. Are you sure those were Tommy knockers? What was at the top? Let's go with the like shadows of dead miners. Something. They were right behind Stella just before y'all left. Did you not see them? Oh, I didn't see anything other than you and that carving. That's super weird. I don't want to doubt what you experienced, but you were deep in dark abandoned coal mine. You might have just been primed up to see those things. You know, now that I think about it, that totally fits the profile for some of the Tommyknocker stories. What if they're actual bona fide ghosts? Stella. Uh, everything. Are we gonna return? <laughs> uh, the what? The choice with the where I saw that carving. Everything that happened down there centered around that main chamber, where I saw that carving. Stella showed me a photo. Weird stuff. Maybe you weren't entirely off base about that cult- about the cult stuff you mentioned earlier today. But this thing felt old. Are you sure those were Tommy knockers? <laughs> Depends on what you mean by sure. Is anyone really sure of anything? They fit the description pretty well, and I don't know what else they'd be. You never know. <laughs> I have no idea what happened in there. I need to do some reading on mind collapses, I guess. Return. Uh. Oh yeah, that ditchling isn't there anymore. Because mm -hmm. the the danger is past. Mm -hmm. For now. <laughs> Until tomorrow, when they probably will show up again. Yeah. Uh, uh, your vision. There was a stone carving on the wall of that pit. It gave me some sort of vision. I saw what happened at this place. I think I hallucinated down there. Tabitha thinks we hallucinated. The first one. There was a stone carving on the wall of that pit. It gave me some sort of vision. I saw what happened to this place. Wait, but I thought this was the child mine. I guess those were, could have been the ghosts of the child miners also. I mean, I think I saw some child miners in the flashback. Mm -hmm. It looked like there was an adult and it looked like I saw a child sized. Yeah, I person. guess they're in the section where there could have also been adults, like supervisors yeah. or whatever. Or both of them working in the same mind. Mm -hmm. uh, it's weird to talk about, but mm -hmm. um, are you sure it wasn't just auto-suggestion? We talked about that mine a lot today. I don't know, Anix. You weren't down there. Daisy and Tabby had like 
Simultaneous seizures. Next to a creepy stone carving. It was like something out of a movie. Just because they passed out or had seizures doesn't mean it wasn't auto-suggestion. Ditchlings. Do you think it's over? That was our ditchling problem, right? Case closed. Good work, team. Or not to be flippant, but that wasn't the end of our ditchling problem, right? That one. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be more than that for sure. Not to be flippant, but that wasn't the end of our ditchling problem, right? I think you're right. We've still got a lot of unanswered questions, too. Even more than we had this morning, and we had a lot of questions this morning. This is still all still a little too magic for me. Just because two bad things have happened doesn't mean there's a pattern. Right? I'm just now realizing I didn't see the thing in the first episode because I chose to run, a run away. So now mm -hmm. it's like, it's gonna be a piece of the puzzle that we might be missing in this playthrough. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh. We sure dodged a bullet tonight, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, thank god you noticed them sneaking off. You were incredible down in the pit, too. What happens now? Because I know what she was trying to do with leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tabitha's back. I better drive these kids home. Come on, let's get back to the estate. It's been a long day and I need it to be over. I'll see you tomorrow, okay, Daisy? Excuse me, I... Just stop trying to get my cousin killed, Stella. Come on, let's go. Tabitha starts walking to her car, pulling you by her arm. You're your arm, that makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> um, see you tomorrow, guys. I'll text you when we're back. I can walk to the car on my own or silently follow Tabitha. I'll text you when we're back. Top of that doesn't say a word as the car cuts along the darkened road. You try to keep an eye on the surrounding wilderness as he drives, wary of what may lurk behind the tree line. Sorry about today. How are you holding up? I'm doing terribly, by the way, in case you wanted to know. Why do you treat Stella like that? Didn't you two used to be friends? You and Kanika really don't seem to get along. At least everyone's okay. We're right in silence. <laughs> Come say sorry. <laughs> sorry about today. It's fine. How are you holding up? I've been better. Uh. Hmm. Curious about Stella question. Why do you treat Stella like that? Didn't you two used to be friends? It was a different time in my life. I just wish she'd get that we're not in high school anymore. I'm a different person than whoever she thinks she knows. You and Kadika really don't seem to get along. <laughs> She pushes my buttons. Is there some kind of history there, or I like her? Drop it. Oh, uh, is there some kind of history? No. Now quit talking. I need to focus on the road. At least everyone's okay. <laughs> quit talking. Okay. <laughs> There are a lot of parents who should have kept tighter reins on their kids. I never got into trouble like this when I was a teen, and I have Pearl Ann to thank for it. She calls her mom by her name? Hated it at the time, mm -hmm. but that strictness paid off. Ugh, what am I telling you this for? 
Will, were we bonding? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me stuff. I'd like to know more about you. I don't think it's the, I don't really think it's the parents are to blame here. You're right. There are a lot of adults who should have done a better job tonight or remain silent. Uh, you can tell me stuff. Tell <laughs> me things. <laughs> Please tell me. You can tell me stuff. I'd like to know more about you. And about Pearl Land for that matter. Maybe later this week. I don't have the energy to get into it right now. But I think I'd like that. Oh my god, we're bonding. <gasps> oh my goodness. All it took was us almost dying <laughs> in a collapsing mine. And calling her into the collapsing mine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mm. I feel like it isn't either fully on the kids or fully on the adults. So I guess I'll remain silent. I've got to focus on the road. Ride in silence. Your eyes wander back to the tree line as you and Tabitha slink back into silence. Once again cross the threshold into the estate. The musty stench of decaying mansion greeting you with the undertones of mildew and wood rot. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to like move my mouth to see if I can do the stitch voice and the deep voice, but I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this day was a lot more stressful than it needed to be, but at least nobody got hurt. I'm going to bed. I suggest you do the same. Thanks for calling me about those kids, by the way. It was unexpected. It's pretty important. You could have... No, you should have waited for me. I'm too tired to argue. I'll see you in the morning. Tabitha turns and makes her way up the stairs. Turn in. You head up to your room to turn in. You collapse in Tabitha's dusty guest bed. I heard that creak. Your head <laughs> empty of thoughts. Um. I'll show you whatever. Um. <laughs> after your time in the psalm, shawl mine, you barely even notice the dust. Your phone buzzes on the table. Y'all, these are those things, right? What things? I'm afraid. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nika sends uh -oh. a picture of a pair of ditchlings by the side <laughs> of the road. I saw them again, too. I saw it before we went into mine. Another picture, this time of them staring from a tree. WTF! These things are definitely not hairless monkeys or raccoons or whatever. I don't know what the hell they are. Because there's more to them being here than the mind collapse. No. No way am I sleeping tonight. You think about looking out the guest room window, but at this point you're too exhausted to leave her bed. The adrenaline from this evening is finally wearing off, replaced by the creeping exhaustion that threatens to overwhelm you. Your limbs feel heavy, your eyelids slipping down over your eyes as you stare down with dread at the ominous pictures on your phone. Thanks for that, guys. <laughs> If it weren't for the pit of dread bawling in your stomach, you would almost feel comfortable as you settle down between the covers, your tired bones sinking into a decrepit mattress. The 
When you close your eyes, you see the shadowy figures that gathered behind Stella in the mines. Your thoughts are drawn to the carving on the wall and to the visions it imparted upon you. Hmm? <laughs> Dustin? Your eyes shoot back open, your heart pounding as the door to your room swings open. Wayne? Huh. <gasps> Fru Fru! <laughs> Hi, Fru Fru. <laughs> just the cat. It's always just the cat. <laughs> Don't read into this. The woman cooked me out. I just want a warm place to sleep. I'll take it. It's nice to see how this, uh, this narration doesn't work you're with the like, voice, but I'm gonna like keep going, it anyway. Keep going deeper and deeper. Am I? <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to keep from not projecting since it's getting late as we're wrapping up. Um, yeah. It's nice to see another living being, even one as unfriendly as Tabitha's cat. The comfort of her presence sets your mind at ease, and you finally slip into a deep sleep. Hmm? Where are we going? Out the door. Well, I don't want to go out the door. Mm -hmm. Too late. <laughs> oh dear. Where's Tabitha? Oh no. Oh, don't fall through the hole. What's this downstairs? Oh, whoa, what's this? Secret door? Oh, no. Cool. Something's calling. Uh oh. This is the end of episode two. Episode three is currently slated for late 2021, early 2022. Be sure to update you once we have a firmer release date. Ah! <laughs> we did it. I would have more of a reaction, but my voice is starting to fry a bit. Yeah. Oh, well, my voice hurts. <laughs> My throat hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so many characters. I don't even remember what time we started recording, but uh, this has seven, been... Seven, because it's been four hours. <laughs> oh, I got confused for a sec, because oh, yeah. for seven, Nine mine for would you. be like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, <wait>, what? <laughs> six hours? <laughs> uh, but that was really cool, and now I'm afraid to play with Without keen eye. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, do it. It's funny because of my playthroughs. Yeah, keen eye is the only one that I haven't used because I'm like, oh, I'm doing that for a Cosmic Waypoint playthrough. Mm. <laughs> well. <laughs> Although now I'm curious, like, what future things may happen that would only happen yeah cause like, like the in best the first way. episode it had to be the strength yeah the powerful build yeah, yeah to be able to Kenai. get Gretchen and the flashlight otherwise you gotta choose mm -hmm. cause also I did definitely think maybe I'll do a playthrough where I die for the flashlight instead and oh man very sad Oh no. I mean, I both of them are sad. I feel bad about Duke dying and guilty over that, too. <laughs> yeah, but there's just something with, like, animals, because they just can't protect themselves in most cases. It's a different kind of guilt. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Like, I know she's an old dog, but... <laughs> <laughs> But it's also an old man, so... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gab. Hooray. This is such a good game. I know. How dare. 
No, it's like, I want the next episode, but also I want them to have time to work on it to make it really good, so I don't mind waiting. But also, I want the next episode. <laughs> yeah, take your time and don't crunch, please, because crunch yes. is unhealthy part of the entertainment industry, especially in video yes. game stuff, as far as I'm aware. Yes, all of that. <laughs> take care of yourselves. That's an order. And create a product you're happy with without killing yourself, please.